1970. 1970. Is that yeah. when it actually yeah. started then? 1970? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, by yeah. I remember um, when we were in the third form, Steve, um, yeah. we used to have um, the gym assembly upstairs and uh, Mr. Cutts offered yeah. a challenge in one of the assemblies and said, uh, if we give you a bit of advance warning, next week we're going to be playing this, a certain hymn. And would anybody, he wasn't expect, expecting anybody to turn up. And he said, would anybody like to, you know, come and play some music for us next next week's junior assembly? And me, Steve, I think, uh, and a couple of others that were just learning, learning with the peripatetics teacher, um, actually practiced something and uh, played it at the school assembly. This is a year before Barry Kane. Uh, and surprised, surprised him with the fact that we were all actually turned up and played. So that, I think that was the first instant of... Uh, if anybody semi-organised playing something, then obviously when Barry joined us in, it would have been our fourth form, I think, actually, 1970. Um, we became a bit more organised after that. But so, in a, so in a way, Mr Cutts kind of initiated the start, really, <laughs> by setting the challenge. Well, he did, I suppose he did, in a way, yeah. I... So if it started in 1970, is that what we've kind of established? Yeah. yeah, I think so. I joined yeah. in 70 and I started um, lessons. No, I think there must have been something went out in assembly or something like that, a notice uh -huh. that said, if anybody wants to learn to play a brass instrument, come along to what then became the band cupboard. Um, and, <laughs> that the, and I know I, I tried um, underneath the stage. Yeah, yeah. the room under the stage. Room 18. Yeah. So 18, yeah. I tried a cornet first. I, I suspect he tried everybody on the cornet first, but I couldn't get on with the cornet. So then he tried me on the trombone. And that's where I stayed, on the trombone. Can I just ask a question? Did so, Mr. yeah, that was 70. Did Mr Cheshire uh, play an instrument as well then? Or did, mm -hmm. he, just, yeah. or did he just do the conducting? He, was played, euphonium. he played on the... Um, euphonium. Euphonium, euphonium yeah. yeah. Trombone. He played when I conducted St John's, he played bass trombone for me up there. Really? Uh -huh. yeah. uh, what, other what other teachers were involved in it? I've seen uh, photographs with Mr. Um, um, Roger Ambler, Roger Ambler, Ambler involved. Yeah. He, was the, he was on the double B. Mr. Ambler. Yes. Yeah. yeah. At least scratch, because I, I got him reading music. I used to give him a couple of lessons at lunchtime. <laughs> <laughs> Like the star performers in the uh, in the day. I mean, I I, I was kind of odd, uh, you know an observer of the brass band, if you like. Um, but Steve, you know, Stephen, you were like everybody said, oh, Steve Corbett, Steve Corbett. Um, were you the sort of the, the the bit of the star of the show? I don't want to embarrass you too much here. <laughs> <laughs> I'll say done. yes. Um, when I went to Lockwood, I was. Um... Conducting St. John's, I conducted St. John's for 20 years. But, you know, when you tell people, they must think I'm about 103. <laughs> <laughs> for about eight of those years, I was playing at Lockwood and um, conducting St. John's and also the music theatre band at the same time. So, uh, but for, yeah, first band, I think it was, it was Mossley Junior Band when I was about eight. Crikey. Mm -hmm. And then I finished at St. John's five years ago. So it's a long time. Yeah. You've enjoyed yeah, it. God. You've enjoyed it, though, I'm assuming. Otherwise, you wouldn't have carried on doing it. I have. Most of it, yeah. Um, it's been good. Um, but it'd take a very big paycheck to get me back in a bond, yeah? I would. <laughs> <laughs> you um played at at the actual school coming back to uh, the band at the school was it like speech days um yeah. carol yeah. services Christmas. i've got written down carol yeah, we'll do the carol service. went around the ashton general hospital as well didn't we playing carols oh yeah 
Yeah. That was good. Yeah. You should enjoy that. Who remembers also, well, the precinct, shopping precinct and freezing? Oh, yes. Yeah. yeah. Playing turtles down in the precinct. Anything was good because you got out of lessons. Yeah. <laughs> Did a lot of old folks' homes as well. Yeah. Black yeah. and white minstrel selection, you know, all that sort of stuff. As an anecdote, one of the... Um, uh, we, we, we quite often were given orange juice and things in the interval and uh, th there was one concert where I, I was very thirsty um, so I drank quite a lot orange juice um, <laughs> and, and the, I can't remember what the piece was but the first piece we were playing after the interval there was a, a, a pause where the whole band stopped um, for one beat and I belched on the beat <laughs> and uh, the, the, it fell apart a bit after that but yeah, that's Timing. an abiding memory, yes. Isn't, isn't that what, they call, <laughs> what tune that one, was it? That what they call I can't remember what it was. Yeah, yeah, oh, that's because... You can't remember yeah. the tune, but you remember the belch. So you took repeat literally. <laughs> yes, that's, yeah, that's right, yes, yes. Anyway, coming back to food yeah. parcels. I think, was it maybe one assembly a week? I honestly can't remember, but you used to put a penny in or a, a couple of yeah. pennies into a collection. And when the band went to the precinct, they went with the rattly tins for people to put money in. And that also went to the food parcels. And I think in some of the Black Knight um, issues that have been uploaded, there are letters of thanks from people, from recipients for these parcels. It was like a, a sort of charity thing that we did, wasn't it? The, that the school yeah. did every oh, no, year. September 72, I went from Dalton Girls, so I was there for two years, so I left July 74. Um, Pete, when, were, when were you in it, Pete, then? Me, I, I probably joined the year after it started, um, because it was certainly already going. Um, I'd been a, um, I didn't play any brass instruments at the time, um, but I'd been a drummer in the boys' brigade, and they needed a percussionist. Um, so and Gary Burgess had a set of drums, get of drums, which we used throughout whilst I was I was there, and uh, so I, I joined, and it all went on from there, and I, I sort of picked up the the tuba, um, and eventually played the E flat, and then when Dave Hodgson, when you left, um, I took over your double B, uh, and that was it. So. <laughs> and what did you do, Anne? Me, I started. Um... Well, I learned in first year um, how to how to play a scale of C on the cornet, and once you could play a scale and knew your notes, you were in. So, I think I <laughs> so if only somebody had told me, it was, if only somebody had told me it was that easy, I may well have joined myself. <laughs> <laughs>